I like the way Barr handles his business, but you know the proof is in the pudding. I've seen zero indictments other than that one, and I want to see some heads roll. That's what I want to see. Yeah. coming out of uh, Fort Worth, do we? It's because they got a uh, Republican mayor. Red city versus blue city. Pretty much says it all. Okay, you know what you do. If you like it, you like it. If you care, you share it. And if you can, you can contribute badassuncleSam.com. Hit that shop button. Get my designs. They come with a trigger back guarantee. If you do not trigger a liberal, you get your money back. And if you just want to throw money at me, hit the donate button. Either way, I can sure could use it. Uh, thank you very much. Enjoy the video. Remember to pray for me. I'll be praying for you. See you on the other side. My, my best friend in the whole world is Donald J. Donald J. Trump. And uh, he's the only one that makes any sense. I get so tired of this. I'm so glad I got it off. Well, it's all bullshit. You know that? I mean, yep. look, how, look how well they work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, man, it's crazy. Okay, yeah. So you say you're a sergeant? Or? Yeah, I'm a sergeant with the Fort Worth Police Department. Yeah, I've been out there for 27 years, and I've never seen so much crap as BLM and everything else. It's crazy. The crap they're putting you guys through is amazing. How's your mayor? Is he treating you okay? Well, first of all, we live in a red city. We don't live in a blue city. All right. So we live in the normal our citizens very much appreciate what we do. Thank you. There's no defunding. There hasn't been a one hour of work missed. There hasn't been a paycheck that's been, there hasn't been a protest that has not been able to be handled. We don't have the violence and the, and the riots. And what, we don't tolerate that. That just doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah this is going to be such a landslide victory. It's, it, you know, there are seven Democrat mayors in Minnesota that well, said, we're tired of this. Yeah, we're, we are tired of this crap. Right. We're voting for Trump. Yeah. Leo Terrell, you know, I watch some of the YouTube videos. Right. And Leo Terrell, he's on Fox every once in a while. And he used to be just a, an avid Democrat. Right. hated Republicans. He has flipped and said, oh, no, sure. this is ridiculous. Right. Yeah, I've been dealing with this for a long time. And it's just, yeah. Joe Biden is their champion. Joe Biden is... He can't remember who he is. He can't find his socks. At. Come on, man. Yeah, in this pandemic, you know, it's been sensationalized by the media, and it's just been overblown so big time. And I don't, I don't understand. I, I have liberals that say, "Where do you get your sources?" Right here, and right here. When I'm watching Trump implement the travel ban on January 31st, and on the same day, Joe Biden is saying, "Ah, oh, he's a xenophobe and he's crazy. He doesn't know what he's doing." And then 24 days later, you see Nancy Pelosi in Chinatown saying, hey, everything's safe, it's all good. And then, when it becomes an issue, they flip like it never happened. And then they say Trump didn't handle it right, and they didn't... Got this this morning. The World Bank records were issuing money for test kits for COVID-19 in 2018. Mm -hmm. That's kind of... That's before it actually was started to be reported, isn't it? They're, they're reported, they wouldn't even know it was out. <laughs> well, but, you know, the dog, who didn't even name it COVID-19 until 2020? Yeah. So, I mean, they didn't know this was coming? The mass or oh, BS, total BS. This is the government trying to control things, and namely the left, trying to keep people from from getting back into the economy, getting everything back to back to work and schools because they want government control. The less the people can depend on themselves, the more they have the power to do what they want with our taxes. Well, you as a, in your 
job, your profession, you know better than anybody that fear is a big motivating factor. That's what you can control people with. Yeah. You do that. That's news news media yeah. is one way to get that fear just spreading like yeah. wildfire. Yeah. Good it's, news is a lot of people aren't listening to them anymore. Yeah, Other. it's like Jeff Van Drew. He was a Democrat, a senator or whatever, and he didn't go along with these views of uh, the Pelosi posse or whatever. And so he vented and voiced his opinion. They said, if you don't go along with our vo votes, yeah. then uh, we're gonna, you're going to have a hard time doing anything in life because we're going to be blocking yeah. everything you do. And he said, really? Fine. I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm a Republican now. Yeah, right. I got something you can appreciate, though. You're going to like this. This is a get-out-of-jail-free card from Hillary Clinton. It's uh, good for any crime in the world, as you well know. Yeah. All the felonies that she committed that James Coney... Uh, now, what do you think of Barr? Do you think he's going to do something? Or I think Barr is solid. And I, do you? And I'm hoping that Durham releases a lot of stuff. You know, they just indicted the, uh, the one attorney that changed the uh, FISA warrant information right. uh, that caused Flynn to right. be in so much trouble. So I, I think that Durham and and uh, Barr are the real deal. I like the way Barr handles his business. But you know the proof is in the pudding. I've seen zero indictments other than that one. And I want to see some heads roll. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Amen to that, brother. Right? All yes, right. So. Good talking to you. Hey, same here. You have a great day, sir. I don't know. I'm moving to Fort Worth. <laughs> All right. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, subscribe, hit the like button, do all those little things. And uh, badasssinglesam.com, shop, contribute, pray. See you on the streets. <laughs>